we have seen that when we have finite number of conjunction bundle in the conjunction set, it's very easy to rank. We do not need any more. We, we can rank them. But what we have, remember, go back to your con the definition of the, the properties of conjunction set. What does it imply? That conjunction set would have infinite number of bundles. bundles. How long will you go on ranking? Therefore, we have utility function. So, we, no, but utility function again, again, even from, if you want to look at the perspective of utility function, then again, we should have some particular properties in the utility function. Properties such as continuity. You might have heard mm -hmm. about these in mathematics, continuity and differentiability. Mm -hmm. Why do we need these properties? Uh, so that we can use the optimization technique that we are going to learn shortly even in this course. Okay, uh, so you can utilize them because cal using calculus people have developed optimization technique. So utility function should be continuous in nature. But so far we haven't talked about the utility function should be continuous. And so in that sense we haven't talked about the ranking of infinite number of bundles. It's, it would be Herculean task. Remember, when we are talking about preferences, we are not talking about the budget set. We are not talking about the feasibility set. Okay? So, whenever we are talking about preferences, we want to rank all the bundles in the consumption set. And if you have infinite number of bundles, then just using the earlier three properties, it would be impossible to rank all the bundles. We can try, but we will keep on going and going because we have infinite number of bundles. So we look for certain specific properties. We are not saying that everyone should have, everyone's preferences should satisfy this particular property. But if it satisfies, the tools that we are going to learn in the future would be applicable. If, if this property is not satisfied that some of the tools that we will learn in the future cannot be used. We will have to go back to the first principle. I am not saying that we can't solve the problem. If you have done calculus and calculus we are going to use extensively. Remember, whenever you have to differentiate, you have certain thumb rules. <laughs> but whenever you get a new function, what do you do? You go back to the first principle. So similarly, something we don't call something first principle here, but the idea is very similar. So we are developing, we are trying to develop certain toolkits, which would be applicable when your preference satisfies these certain properties. I'm not saying that there, in the world, everyone, whoever exists, has this kind of preference. No, I'm not saying that. But if you have a preference which doesn't satisfy these property, then either you will have to go back to the first principle and if they are inconsistent, then you can't even talk about it. Okay, fine. So the new property that we are going to talk about it is continuity. And what is continuity? You can define a function at each point you can define a function at each point. There is no with a break. fixed value. At a fixed value. That's uh, not continuity. Uh, so in what maths what we learned is that you can draw its graph without lifting your pen. Without that's a break. very mm -hmm. basic definition that you learn in class 8th, class 9th. That when you can draw a function, of course then in that case function has to be a two dimensional function. Without lifting your pen, then the function is continuous. But I am pretty certain that you must have come across more rigorous definition. That's not the idea right now. But uh, what here, what we are talking about, these two are related. The definition of continuity in function and here. What we are saying, let's take two bundles, x and y. Okay? And let's say x and y are ranked in a particular fashion. Either x is ranked above y or y is ranked above x doesn't matter. Now if we pick a bundle that is sufficiently close to x and let's call x1 and a bundle that is sufficiently close to y, y1. So then your ranking of x1, y1 should not be different from ranking of x, x and, and y. y. 
fine yes. that's in terms of preferences no, okay. if we are now we have learned the concept of utility it means x is assigned a number and y is assigned a number and if we pick x1 that is sufficiently close to x then the number assigned to x1 should be very very close to x. number assigned to x. x so what it does that it preserve the continuity is about preserving closeness okay bundle which are close to each other should be ranked near each other let me give you an example so let me say here let's take again two dimensional world good one and good two and let's take a bundle here and a bundle here and a bundle here let's say this bundle is assigned a number 5 okay this bundle is assigned a number 100 so then this bundle should have a number nearer to five, five. five because it is closer to five. five. Let's say six or it may be four. That's what that's not what we are talking about that whether it would be six or four. It should be close to each other. But if it is hundred and ten, then definitely this preference is not continuous. Fine, is it clear? Yes sir. So now just one thing I want to add here. We, we talked about we talked about utility function and what we said then when your preference relation satisfies <coughs> completeness reflexivity and transitivity then we get utility function such that it preserves the rank now we talked about one more property that is continuity so here the thing is that any preference which satisfies rationality axioms. What does it mean? Satisfy rationality axioms means all three. All three those properties. Completeness, Com complete reflexivity, reflexivity, and transitivity are satisfied. Rationality axioms and continuity axioms. can be represented by a utility function that is continuous in nature or you can say can be represented by a continuous utility function. What we just talked about is that any preferences that satisfies continuity axiom or if you want to call it assumption, then assumption is also fine, continuity axiom and rationality axioms. There are three axioms, if all these three axioms are satisfied, then we say that preferences, preference of a person satisfies rationality axioms. If rationality axioms and continuity axioms are satisfied, then preference of a person can be represented by a by a continuous utility function. And when we have already learned that when we figure out one utility function to represent someone else preference, then what we can do? We can do mono, we can take mo any monotonic transformation of that particular utility function and we will get a new function that will also be a utility function in the sense that it would represent the same person's preference, same person's test. So, utility function is not unique whether it is continuous or not, fine. So, earlier we talked about you know continuity is a nice mathematical property, we, you, we can if a function is continuous and differentiable, then we can use optimization technique as I told you that we will be using some optimization technique. But now let us say you got a con utility function that is continuous, but that is not differentiable. What can we do? We can always transform a utility function 
using some monotonic transformation into a differentiable function. A continuous function can all can always be transformed into differentiable function using monotonic transformation. So, we are not worried about differentiability of the utility function. Is it clear? Fine? Clear? Okay.